Welcome to this video. I had a recent question about setting a payload in Metasploit. It seemed that the person had got into a circular conversation, so to speak, when choosing the exploit and choosing the payload. They seemed to be going in circles. So I wanted to maybe take you through that and show you how to do that and we'll just kind of follow our our process that uh, we have done in the last video. So again I'm running Metasploit uh, Metasploitable as a, uh, a VM and the IP address for that is 192.168.1.171 and I'm using a Kali box so I'll make that a little bit bigger. Uh, we start out as usual uh, running a nmap scan, so sudo nmap uh, verbose, and uh, it is a version scan, that's what I'm interested in with uh, 171. Now, in the interest of time, I didn't put a reason on this, but you could obviously do that as well to get the reason response in the feedback. So we go down and we see the versions that are here. And so I do know that there is a vulnerability out there associated with 6667, which is IRC. So this will be a good one for us to use. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's not really out in the wild a whole lot anymore. But uh, let's just go ahead and use that. Again, before we get started, remember that you should only be hacking or interrogating targets that you have written permission to do so or uh, your own system itself. So don't get in in trouble out there. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that my PostgreSQL is up and operating. So I'm going to do a service PostgreSQL and status and so it is operating. If if it wasn't then we would just run this same thing except we would put start instead of status on the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Metasploit. It'll take it a minute or so to get spooled up. Again, while we have this information over here, we can copy that. We can open a browser and let's just see if there's any information out there about vulnerabilities. So it looks like that there, there's CVE associated with that. If I come down to Rapid7 and take a look at this, it looks like a back door command execution that sounds really good it's from 2010 and uh, this exploits a malicious backdoor that was added to this version download archive so again probably won't find this out in the in the wild but it's a good one to to do for this example so this gives us the exploit uh, we have to look at our targets. We have to set target ID, um, show the options, and then exploit. So looks like uh, something that we could try. Looks like uh, our exploit is up and operating now. So I want to first search for that. So let's see what I get so in the results it is excellent that back door so I think I'll go ahead and use that so I'm going to use the exploit Unix IRC backdoor okay 
Now I want to take a look at the options for this. So I do need to set the target, the R host. So let's go ahead and set the R host 192.168.1.171 is the server there. I use the up arrow, get the options again to make sure that it is set. And it is set. Now the exploit is set. Now what we need is we need a payload. So if we were to try to use a payload at this point in time, this is going to put you back in a circle and it's going to move your exploit or remove your exploit from here and you're going to be just looking at the payload and have to start over. So to avoid that, what we want to do now is we just want to look at our payloads and these payloads are the ones that are associated with this exploit. So if we were to look at the payloads again um, without looking at this specific to the exploits, you may have 2,000 of these. But we can see by looking at the ones that are specific to this exploit, we have 11. And what we're going to be wanting is we're going to be looking at this reverse so that we can get a command reverse. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set the payload and it is going to be command forward slash unix and we're going to be getting the reverse as well. So now just like exploits, payloads have options too. So let's take a look and see what we have here. So we do need the R host which is already set. That's, that's uh, our target. One thing that we do need for this is the L host. Now the way that I know I'm now using the exploit with this uh, payload is I have both here. So here is the information I set up for the exploit. Here is the information for the payload. If you don't have both of these then something went wrong and you need to back up set the exploit or use the exploit and then look at your uh, payloads for that. Now I do need to set the listening host. The uh, default port is 4444 but I do need to go ahead and set that so I'm gonna set the listening host 192.168.1.21 .1 and that's my uh, Kali IP address. So I'm going to hit the up arrow again to make sure that it populated. It did. Again, I know that I have got this set because I have both of these. If one of these is missing, then you're either just populating the payload or you're just populating the exploit. So I hope that makes sense. So I've already looked at my options. I've set the options. I should be good to go now. So I should be able just to go ahead and exploit this. So let's see what happens. So we're set up. We're off and running. It's doing its thing. Ah, we've got a command shell session one opened. So let's look at what this is saying so from my computer which is 1.29 port 4444 I have a command shell to the target machine 171 which is the metasploitable and it is doing that on port 48426 so how do I know it really worked? I mean, it's not doing anything. Well, I can type in W and I see 
I am in the Metasploit machine. I can see who am I and if I do that I see I'm root. I can look at where I'm at with the print working directory and I'm in Etsy Unreal and then I can do a ls tac lah to see what's in front of me and I can see all of these files and, and folders are in front of me. So I've got access to it. I've got root and so at this point in time I can do whatever I want to the machine. So I hope that that helped. Again remember that when you're setting your exploit up go ahead and set the exploit first and then set up your payload. Make sure that before you fire that thing off that you have both of these things listed and then just hit exploit and hopefully you'll roll right into a shell. So I hope this video helped. Leave me a comment and any questions that you have. Until next time, thanks for watching.